Good morning everyone and welcome to class. My name is Rachel and here we are for our live standing Pilates session. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. We're going to start with a warm up and then we're going to move into some more challenging exercises once our bodies are nice and warm. So you're going to start with your feet just a fist width apart, so a little narrower, narrower than we normally do. You're going to pull your abdominals in and bring your arms onto the side of your legs so your shoulders relax. All right, so let's just take a moment and think for the next half an hour, we're just going to be together. We're going to work on our bodies, relax our minds. All right, so take a breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, let's tuck the chin down, soften the knees, pull the tummy in and just let your body roll forward. And as you do, your arms are reaching down towards the floor. Taking a breath in there, you're going to breathe out, draw the abdominals in and come all the way up through the spine. Draw those shoulders back and down. Take a breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest. Softening the knees. Pulling the abdominals in. And trying to really feel that nice stretch through the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly coming all the way up so we're restacking that spine let's do one more deep breath in breathing out into the chest bending the knees pulling the abdominals in and think of going forward rather than leaning back going forward down towards the mat inhale exhale coming all the way up and restack that spine. Now we're going to take a breath in, we're going to breathe out and we're going to go halfway down. So just halfway down. So your knees are bending, your feet are on the floor. Now bring your right arm across and over your left knee and then left arm is going to go out to the side. Now bracing against that leg, I want you to rotate the body. So warming up the spine, warming up the oblique muscles and try and look up towards that hand and see if you can get a nice little stretch and rotation there. And then we're gonna come back down and we're gonna switch sides. So other hand, arm out to the side. So get that alignment with the shoulder and then press into that leg as you rotate up, 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 good, and then come all the way back, fold your body forward, take a breath in and breathe out, coming all the way up through the spine. Okay, let's start with the legs, all right, so I'm just going to go slightly sideways for you, abdominals drawing in. And then we're going to inhale to bend. I want you to really sit back in those heels. Get that calf stretch. Exhale to come up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, up. So straight elbows. Arms in line with the shoulders. Good. And up. Inhale and up. Inhale and up. Last one. We're going to stay here. Keep the tummy pulling in, we're going to pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Now let's lift the heels off the floor. You really have to press into the big toes, quite the challenge this one, and keep the heels off the floor as we bend. Think of your back sliding down a wall, so you've really got to use your control and your concentration here and then straighten keeping the heels off the floor pressing down into those big toes inhale bend and exhale up inhale bend and exhale up inhale bend you go as low as you want 
but keep those heels up, focus on that balance. One more, we're gonna stay down. Hold it here, let's pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come all the way up, lift those heels in the air, and then bring the heels together so you're in a V position, okay? And then lower the heels, so nice V position, so we're here, all right? Round the arms, let's bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Shoulders down. So we're gonna use arms for everything today, so you really get to work those arm and shoulder muscles. It'll also strengthen your upper back. Two, one, hold, pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Now lift the heels up and bring them together. Again, pressing into the toes, thumb is in, sliding down that wall. We'll go a little slower because we want to focus. Hands straighten. Two, three, four, five, and six. Stay down here. Stay here. Let's pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Now come all the way up, 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 up. And lower the heels. Let's step out. So we're turned out in our V position. Tongue is in, back straight. We're going to bend. And up. Bend. And up. That's it. And up. And up. Two more. Two. One, hold it here and let's pulse. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Now, the hardest one of all, in my opinion, lifting the heels up. Tummies in. We're going to bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. So just do what you can. Don't worry if you lose your balance. You'll see I do sometimes as well. It's completely normal. Good. Now we're gonna stay down. Can you get a little lower? Try going a little lower, that's it. Now let's pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming up and bring yourself down, well done. Okay, so give those legs a little shake out. And now we're gonna try and do single leg, okay? I'm just gonna go sideways so you can see. So we're gonna lift the right leg up, like so. Toe pointed, knee more or less in line with the hip. All right, hands down by your side, lengthen through the body. And now with concentration, we're going to bend and straighten. So this really works the bottom muscles, okay, on that standing leg. And up. Bend. And up. Bend. And up. Good. One more. All right, let's stay down. Can we? Can we pulse? Let's try. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming up, changing legs. Okay, so other side, abdominals in, lifting that leg up. Just take a moment to ground that foot into the floor, and then here we go. Bend and straighten. Now it's not a big range we're looking for, it's more that balance. Good. Three, two, one, stay down, stay down, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Well done. All right, shake it out. 
Okay, let's work the side of the body. So we're doing legs and hips to the side. So bring this leg out to the side, draw the abdominals in. We've done this one in other workouts. I love this one, it's really good for the back as well as the side of the body. So a little tip forward, but pull your abdominals in, pull your ribs in. And we're gonna add arms today. So we're gonna lift everything, leg and arms, lift, good. Bend, transfer to the other side. All right, lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend and transfer to the other side. Now we're gonna change the arms, okay? So you're gonna point your palms to the ceiling. And as you lift the leg, we're gonna do a bicep curl like this and back, all right? So one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Come to the center, over to the other side. Repeat up, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Come to the center this time. You're gonna stay down. Now make that fist because that will tone you here. Low as you can go. And then we're gonna do little circles. One, with the arms. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, back the other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, other way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, bring the arms down, lift up, so staying down. We're gonna really challenge those legs now because you're gonna to have to hold it here. Good, and one more. And come up, take a little rest, and let's go back down. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring the arms to the shoulders, hands to the shoulders, and then we're gonna reach across. So now we're going into abdominals, reach across. So hips are staying as still as possible. We're rotating the wrist, working through the waistline. So we're gonna reach and back, two. And go as low as you can to challenge those legs. That's it, four, four, three, two, one, change other side, eight. So really try and move that rib cage. That's working those waist muscles. Good. Two, one. I think I did an extra one, let's do it there. And now we're gonna go four, three, two, one. Other side, four, three, two, one. Switch. Four, two. Switch for two. Now I'm going to do single, 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 single. Really think of wringing out that waistline. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Coming all the way down and up. Down and up. Down and up. One more down and up well done give those legs a little shake out all right let's start working on the back of the legs so taking your right leg back left leg forward all right draw the abdominals in we do this one a lot because it's such a good one for the bottom muscles back of the body so weight is in this front foot 
all right and then you're going to lift the leg up behind you and I want the leg straight I don't want it high because I want you to work your core so we just lower and lift lower and lift tap good really think of tensing the bottom muscle of that working leg three two one step back bend both knees and sink down okay pelvic tilt okay so pelvis working here we're going to pull in the abdominals tip forward and then go back forward and back forward and back forward and back for four three really trying to mobilize that spine good and back step forward change sides okay so just take your time setting this up so we've got our weight over the front foot trying to stabilize through there so just find where the place feels where you're most balanced all right and then we're gonna lift and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight step back bend both knees square up your hips pelvic tilt forward and back forward and back forward and back forward and back for four three two and one well done step forward give those legs a little shake out you're doing great okay so from here we're going to have the legs a little wider and we're going to do a deeper knee bend so any issues with your knees of course you don't have to do them deeper but if you want to work your thighs and your knees are happy to do this we're going to do a deeper knee bend send the bottom back and up bend and up so you work within your comfortable range and what I mean by that is not feeling any pain in your knees if you can go down and it's challenging then do it if it's painful then you know you need to reduce that range good three and two and one now we're going to stay here and you're going to bring your right arm up your left arm back okay so think of sticking your bottom out to here and then we're going to switch with a little pulse of the knees so switching the head as well so we're working the upper part of the spine the back good switch and switch and switch and switch good and we're going to count you down now four eight seven six five four three two one coming down bring your hands down straighten your legs and just paddle out those feet so we're getting a nice little stretch through those legs bend your knees take the weight out of your hands and slowly come up through the spine good okay so let's do a little bit of work a little bit more work for the abdominals we are going to do a nice sideways movement so go into your wide v position excuse me i'm huffing and puffing this is uh harder than i thought it was going to be today so we're going to bend the knees and we're going to do a lateral flexion of the body okay this is going to work your waistline again so you're going to bring your arms up behind your head and really think of cupping your head in your hands think of pushing the head back into the hands and then opening the elbows and then sinking down as far as you dare okay now keep that alignment through the spine but just tip to the side 
So think of the elbow going up towards the ceiling, other elbow going down towards the floor. Feel the stretch, okay? And then come back. That's when you're working the muscles. So you, they work in opposition to each other. So this movement is both a stretch and a strengthen. And then you're gonna go over and up. Over and up. Over and up. Good. And two. And one. Well done. Coming all the way up. Shake those legs out. And then we're going to bring our right foot forward. Okay, so a little more work with the legs, the hips, the glutes, the core, arms, everything actually. So first thing we're going to do to get grounded is practice our leg lift. So lifting up and down. Lifting up and down. All right, so we're doing this to really focus on stability in the lower body because I'm going to add on to this movement. All right, I'm going to try not to talk too much because I need to concentrate on my balance as well. Good, now what we're going to add to it is as the leg lifts, you're going to bring your arms here. As the leg lifts, you're going to rotate towards it. Come back and the leg will come down. Okay, so bring your arms to here, draw your shoulders down, and think of a diamond shape with your arms, okay? Because that's also going to work your shoulder muscles, which is why I've put it in. Now we're going to lift, and then we're going to rotate and come down, okay? That's it. Three, two, one. Well done, coming down, changing legs. So just the leg lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the arms forward, make your diamond, draw your shoulder blades down, pull your abdominals in, lift, turn towards that leg and back. Rotate that rib cage. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Well done and come down. Let's take a moment to roll down before the next movement, so take a breath in, breathe out into the chest, bending the knees, rolling down, inhale, exhale, coming up, well done. Okay, now we're gonna take this leg to the front, and this is gonna be a bit more challenging for you. We're gonna keep the leg straight, and lift it up. Okay, so you're gonna work all through your thighs, your hips, your tummy, your back, your arms, everything. Let's have the palms up for this one. So pointing the toes on that leg with control, raising it off the ground and bringing it down. Raising it up and bringing it down. Don't bend your knees. Up and down. One more, up and down, changing legs, lifting up and down. So you've got to keep that spine straight, try not to crumple in the centre, I know it's tempting, <laughs> and down, good, come down, same thing to the side, okay, so palms up. And then we're going to float it up and bring it down. Float it up and bring it down. Float it up and bring it down. 
float it up and bring it down. Change sides, palms up, lift and lower. Float it up and down. Very challenging. It looks easy, but as you can feel, it's not. Good, let's do it to the back. Okay, I want you to do this with your arms behind you. So reach your right leg back and reach your arms back. Try and squeeze your shoulder blades slightly, fingers together, bent front knee, lift, 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 lift. Now hold it there, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on down, change sides. So reach your arms down and back, tummies in, ribs in, legs straight, lift, two, three, four, Seven, eight, and hold. Reach the arms up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come down, bend both knees, tip forward. Pull the abdominals in, reach the arms back once again. Make a fist, keep the arms back, but bend at the elbows. Eight, hold, pulse it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to repeat. Bend, extend, bend, extend, bend. That's it. And three, and two, and one. Now lift it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then just let your body come down. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out, slowly coming up, unraveling that spine. All the way up to standing. Now you're going to lift your arms up. All the way up in the air. Think of reaching higher and then taking a little back bend. So go as far as you're comfortable going, finding the stretch in the front of the body. Then bring yourself back upright, take the arms out to the side and bring them down. Let's try that again. So lifting up, reach the arms up, up and back, up and back, up and back. Bring yourself upright, take the arms out to the side. So this is really nice for stretching out your abdominals. And one more, lifting up. Good. Lift up first and then back. So real sense of lifting and going back rather than just crunching down. Good. And bring the arms all the way out to the side. Well done. Okay, and then to finish, let's come back into our nice open V position. Let's give those legs a little bit of a burn. So let's go down as low as we can go. And you're gonna just do a little pulse like this, little pulse, okay? And what we're gonna do is a little rotation. So this leg is gonna turn and back, turn and back, turn and back. So it's like a swivel, let's add the arms. And we're gonna try and keep the arms up for this last minute of class. Good. And then we're going to go the other way. So here, two, three, four. Now we're going to turn and turn. And four. And three. And two. 
Now don't drop your arms, keep the pulses going, make a fist, bicep curl. And four, and three, and two, and one. Keep it going with the legs. All right, and then we're gonna bring the palms down and we're gonna bend, extend, bend, extend. Bend, so elbows stay up. Bend, extend. Bend, extend, one more. Bend, extend, keep the legs going, circles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way, and in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and come on up, shake those legs out, and let's finish with a roll down. Draw the abdominals in, feet back to fist width apart, arms on the side of the thighs, ribs in, deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest, soften the knees, knees going forward, body going forward, down towards the floor. Inhale. And then exhale. Slowly coming all the way up. Deep breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest. Rounding. Coming down. Inhale. Exhale, coming up, last one, deep breath in, and exhale, chin to the chest, rolling down, inhale, and exhale, coming all the way up, shoulders down, and there you are. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. I do hope you enjoyed our session together. Please do press the like button. Don't forget, really important that you subscribe as well and press the notifications button as well. That way you'll get notified every time I have either a live or a new video coming out. All right, so thank you very much for joining me. If you're here with me live, I'm gonna come and talk to you on the chat now. And if you're watching on recording, why not stick around for the chat? Because we always talk about something related to health and nutrition. So always a useful uh, chat to listen to. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone. Take care and have a lovely day. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I feel quite hot now. I don't know about you guys. How do you feel? Um, that was quite a difficult workout today. Um, let me know how it was for you. I decided to uh, mix it up today because I, uh, I had a lot of feedback about last week. It was all uh, positive. I have to say there were just a couple of people I know that found it a little bit challenging. But I thought after all those... Um, new exercises we did last week, I would switch it up this week and give you some standing work because it's always good to have the mix of the two. And obviously Matt Pilates is all on the floor and I know a lot of people write to me and say they prefer. So lots of stuff today. We did arms, we did core, we did hips, we did glutes, we did legs, we did back, we did everything today. So if you're someone that prefers standing, it's a really, really good functional workout. And also having to stand is also good for calorie burning, weight loss. So I always think the mix of the two is very good. Anyway, I'm gonna pop straight over to the chat because I can see it's all whisking away there, everyone. And just so you know, there was about 100 of us doing class today, which is lovely. Uh, so super to hear from everybody. Uh, so just gonna do a little shout out to those people who have already uh, donated on YouTube. Uh, and before I do that, I wanna say a huge thank you to all of you who now support me on my 
Kofi page. If you don't know about Kofi, everyone, it's my creator page. So it's where I kind of tell you bits and bobs about what's going on, what I'm filming, but it's a much more of an insight into kind of behind the scenes of the channel, uh, uh, things that I do, cultural things that I do, nutrition that I'm into, books I'm reading, places I go, all that kind of stuff. But I only really post that detailed information on Kofi because I feel it's like a special place for those of you that are really kind of into what I do and into the whole kind of environment and community that I create. So don't feel left out because if you're on YouTube, I give you everything I can. But if you want to be part of the Kofi community, then go over to Kofi and set up a little monthly uh, donation. And then you can be part of that little club as well. I like to think of it as my little, my little club with all our lovely people in. All right, so today, Huge thanks to these people because I know you donate every week and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So Yvonne Thorpe, thank you very much. First in as well today. So well done, Yvonne. You're always first on the chat, so I love that. Uh, Carlin Hawkgren, who's over in the States. Good morning, Carlin. Thank you very much for your donation today. Paula Sylvester, hello Paula, thank you so much for your uh, donation. Susan Eisenbach, the lovely Susan, hi Susan, lovely to see you today, thank you for your donation. Regina has donated today, you're over in the States as well, Regina, good morning to you. And Carol Neath, hi Carol, lovely to see you, thank you very much uh, Carol for your donation as well today, much appreciated. We've also got Dorothy Tate. Good morning, Dorothy. What a lovely donation. Thank you very much, Dorothy. Lovely to see you. Dorothy has got a lovely little emoji jumping up and down, number one fan. So thank you, Dorothy. Lovely to see you today. So I'm going to have a look at the feedback. I'm also just going to check the top. top. If you've got any questions, now is the time to ask. This, I always feel, is the time I can completely be with you 100% because we are live. So if you ever have any burning questions, whether you're watching me live or on record, come to one of my lives, even if you don't do the workout, but you have a question, it's the best way to get an immediate answer. And the only reason I say that now is because I get quite a lot of messages. I get about 700 messages a week on YouTube and I just can't, I just can't answer them all and be able to keep doing all of this on top of that. So we do our best uh, to answer everything we can. We do answer everything on Kofi and on YouTube. I tend to pop in each day when I'm kind of sitting in my car or waiting for something or I've got 10 minutes, I'll pop on the comments, but it's not something I can do directly now at the rate I used to because of the amount of people who are asking questions. All right, so the live is definitely the best place. Um, okay, good morning to uh, Robin Newcomb who says, oh, you're coming from Zurich, aren't you, Robin? And you, yeah, you've got the same weather as us. Robin's saying, where has the spring gone? Uh, I know, we have the same here, Robin, pouring with rain. I've actually um, started growing my own vegetables last year. That was the first time. I've never done gardening before, but I just want to have that. I think it's very good for mindfulness and, and getting out in nature. Uh, and this year, I don't know what's going on because nothing's growing at the moment because of the amount of rain and cold that we've had. So I'm really hoping that things will improve. Um, hello to Angie Sharp. How are you, Angie? Lovely to see you here. Hello to Linda Verney Thompson. Hi, Linda. Uh, lovely to see you. You're going to do this tomorrow. Good. Enjoy it tomorrow. It's a really nice one for a Saturday morning. Um, okay, whoops, there's lots of, uh, lots of messages on the chat today, which is lovely. Um, okay, so um, we have got Kerry. Hello, Kerry Ward. How are you, Kerry? Kerry's saying, oh, yes, thighs felt that last minute. <laughs> yes, we did a bit of thigh burning, didn't we, at the end there, Kerry? Um, so what I tried to do today was move the exercises around 
so you weren't kind of constantly in the thigh burn area, but I added that at the end because I know we all like to feel it sometimes, don't we? Um, but a very good functional workout today. Um, so glad you felt that one, Kerry. Marion uh, Wilk, Marion, you're in Germany, I know now, because I read that earlier. Lovely to have you here as always, says challenge. Yes, it was a challenge today. I just wanted to show you all that you can be just as challenged with standing work as you can with the mat work. Because I know a lot of you said last week, oh my goodness, that was so hard. So I thought, well, let's give you an intermediate level standing workout today. So that's what you were doing. All that balance work, so, so good. Because even though we think, you know, initially you think, oh, balance work, that's just not falling over. It's so much more than that. Balance work really, really works the core. And, and I can tell you, because it's something I do a lot, it really works your bottom muscles. Because having to stand up and not fall over activates your glutes, which is why I do a lot of that work. It's a really good way to work that part of your body. And you don't necessarily, you don't have to feel the burn in them to know that they're working. They are working. If they weren't working, you would fall over, right? So that, that's what that's all about. Um, Carol Neath says, some surprisingly tough moves today. Brilliant warm up for the day. Phew. Yay. So glad, Carol. Thank you very much. Uh, Robin Newcomb says, great one for sure. Some shoulder, arm and knee aches later, but I loved it. Great balance. One leg needs some work, but loved it. Have a nice weekend. Thank you so much, Robin, over in Zurich. Much appreciated. Yes, the one-legged work is really interesting, I think, the one-legged balances, because you start to see which side of your body is stronger than the other. And Pilates is very much about trying to remove that, or not, not remove that, that's the wrong word, trying to rebalance your body so you have equal strength in both sides. And everybody everybody in the world will have one side of their body more strong than the other. It tends to be the side that you write with. So if you're right-handed, you tend to be stronger on your right side, more flexible on the left, and vice versa if you're left-handed. So in Pilates, we try and do those movements to help rebalance and maybe work the muscles that are slightly underused. So if you're right-handed, you would tend to step forward with your right uh, hand or right foot or reach out with your right hand and that's why we try and do things working through the left starting with the left because it's really good for the brain it kind of it trains the brain as well and that's really really important for every age is you want to be making those connections constantly between uh, the mind and the body. That's what Pilates is all about, is getting that, that uh, connection, mind-body awareness. The more you get that, the healthier and the fitter you will be. And it doesn't mean that you have to run a marathon. You know, if you want to do that, then fantastic. But essentially, we've got to get these movement patterns working really well, because when you do that, then you can go and do anything else, play tennis, run, play cricket, football, golf, you know, whatever your thing is, go to ballet classes like I do, you know, whatever your thing is, this will really help you do it prevent injury and keep you doing it for as long as you want to. Uh, on that note, I'm going to do a quick shout out. If there's anyone watching today who's doing the London Marathon that's coming up this weekend, I want to wish you all the very, very best of luck. I hope it goes really well. And don't forget, come and do some Pilates with me afterwards because it's the best, best thing to do post a long run. All right, just to release all the tension in those muscles. Um, okay, so going down the chat, I want to say hello to Grace O'Malley. Good morning, Grace. Lovely to see you. And Grace says, hi, Rachel. Lovely to catch a live class. That was challenging but fun. I've just started trying uh, these workouts after doing seniors. Oh, that's wonderful, Grace. Well, thank you very much for your comment. Really glad you enjoyed this one today. And yeah, keep going. It sounds like you've started off just the right way. I always say to people, you know, if you're just starting with Pilates, uh, you know, a good place to start, especially if you find 
that uh, there's a confidence issue or there is um, if you're not confident about your movement or you're slightly concerned about your movement and what it might mean for your body the seniors and gentle pilates playlist is a really nice place to start because it contains everything that you need it has all those functional movements in but we do it at a sort of more uh, mindful and gentle pace and what that does is it allows you to not only learn how to move your body but it allows you that space and time to build your confidence with your movement and you know I think a lot of us take for granted you know that we can just move but there are lots of people who are very nervous of moving or might be managing injury or a medical condition or just have never done it and they think oh I'm not quite sure how to start and they want to get started so that's a really nice way to do it so thank you for that Grace and it's lovely to have you here with me live well done well done for doing class today uh, Jeanette says, great routine, really bouncy leg burning, <laughs> loved the arms being a distraction, but also a focus. Huge thanks to you. Oh, you're very welcome, Jeanette. I love that. That's really good that you noticed that because I did put them in, I did put the arm work in to distract from the leg. So very well noticed. Thank you. Angie Sharp says, that was a great start to my day. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you, Angie. And you have a great weekend, do, uh, too. Yvonne Woodhouse says, great workout, but really need to work on my balance. Uh, oops, hang on a second. I've just lost that. Oh, there we go. Uh, need to work on my balance. So I'm going to repeat that session uh, again and again. Loving your spring challenge for my active April. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Yvonne. And thanks for the reminder. We are still in the background running the spring Pilates playlist. I think there is not long to go, is there? Now we're nearly at the end. I think Sunday is the last day if I'm right, I think that's right. And then what we're gonna do, just so you know, because you're here with me now, we're going, I'm gonna keep doing the live, but from the beginning of May, I'm going to start doing a weekly playlist again. So that will just be seven suggested videos for the week. You can do them all, you can do one each day, or you can double up because some will be shorter, some will be five, 10 or 15 minutes. So you could do one at the beginning of the day or end of the day, but I'm gonna start that from the beginning of May. All right, so I'm just gonna have that little week break because the playlists take a lot of work to put together. Uh, and then I'll be popping that on the community page with the week, the date of the week. So it'll be May week one or May week two. So do have a look out for those, but they'll be coming from the beginning of May. And also just to let you know, every weekly playlist will contain one senior and gentle video. And that's because I want to make sure that everyone who watches me who prefers the senior or gentle workouts will have a workout to do. And if you're someone that doesn't do those, it's also a very good active recovery to do those as well, all right? So that's coming in May. Uh, Don's Forever says, hi Rachel, I have a knee flare up at the Mo, runner's knees. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, years now from jogging. What's your opinion on squatting to strengthen the knee muscles? Some say avoid. What a fantastic question. I think it's Donna, right? Uh, so Donna, if you've got runner's knees, I'd say no to doing deep knee bends, all right? Because runner's knees are often a mix of uh, uh, an alignment not being quite right and an overuse. It's an overuse uh, injury, okay? So if you've got a runner's knee, two things you really need to do. You need to do functional work for the knee that doesn't overload. So when I say overload, let me give you an example. All right, so this is loading the knee, yeah, because I'm putting my body weight through the knees, okay? But functional work for the knees would be lying down Pilates work, for example, and lifting up this way where you've got not so much weight on the knees, you're having to use your glute muscles, your hamstring muscles, your thigh muscles to work 
those legs. The important thing with knee muscles is squats, they do work the thighs, but they don't work all the muscles, okay? And it's really important, for example, I mean, we actually did do it today standing, things like straight leg lifts. These are really good for activating the muscles around your knees. So my suggestion would be, Donna, is no to deep squats while you have a flare up, but yes to do my Pilates for painful knees. And I think I have now at least three of those. I have one that's in a chair, that seems to be the most popular one on YouTube. Uh, I think it's like over a million people do, I've done that video now. And I have two that are on the floor. Pilates for painful knees, because you are uh, fit and healthy and you're doing this class, Donna, I would do Pilates for painful knees, uh, the mat work. What you need to do is work on the muscles around the knees, but you don't need to overload those joints because you're already doing that with the jogging. I also would say do give them a chance for a little rest. So if you are a regular jogger, maybe don't do it for a week. Do some functional work, get those muscles working, work on your alignment. All right, I've got a really nice video which is uh, Pilates, now I can't remember the title, it's Pilates for painful knees, but it's with a cushion in between the knees. You can also do it with one of these. Okay, can you see? Oops, there we go. One of these um, uh, in between the knees because we want to work the muscles equally and often with runner's knees, it's a slight misalignment, you know, and when I say that, that's not a criticism at all, we all have it, but if the alignment is a little bit out and then you are constantly doing a repetitive movement on it, you will end up with an injury or an inflammation, etc. So that's where Pilates really comes in. So I'm so happy that you're doing Pilates with me, Donna, but I would say avoid the squats for now and do the mat work. So, so good. But particularly go check out the Pilates for painful knees because that is dedicated to working the very muscles that you need to strengthen, okay? A great question, so thank you for that, Donna. Uh, Marion Wilt says, it was a great workout. I made it and that made my day. Balance is really tricky. And that forward roll down first, uh, not even my fingertips could touch the floor, but by the end, my whole hand was on the floor. Marion, there you go. Do you see it's so brilliant, Pilates, isn't it? How you can start off one way and that little bit of movement. We only did 30 minutes today. And in 30 minutes, your flexibility went from fingertips on the floor to your whole hand. So that's, that's a lot, that's a huge difference. And that's, I mean, that's brilliant. I'm so glad you said that, Marion, because that's a perfect demonstration of why this really works so well. Uh, Sue Samble says, uh, thanks Rachel, a tough one, so I was really grateful. It wasn't 40 minutes. Nearing the end of the spring playlist, well done Sue. Keep on going, you're nearly there. Tiona, hello to Tiona in France. Says, thanks Rachel, really good workout. Although I don't normally like the standing sessions, I did enjoy this and I even added light dumbbells for the arms. Yes, well done. And on that note everyone, on Monday, we are doing uh, standing Pilates. Well, it's not all standing, it's gonna be standing and mat, but with light weights, uh, one kilo. I'm using one kilo weights uh, on Monday, and that's a 25 minute session. So if you like the weight session, they're proving to be very popular. Uh, join me on Monday when we're doing a mix of standing and mat work, but using light weights as well. Okay, and it is optional, so you can do the whole session without the weights, but if you wanna add them in, then you're welcome to. Uh, yes, and well done, Tiona, for adding those weights. Uh, Julie Hunt, I just liked your donation. Julie, lovely to see you, and thank you very much for your donation. Julie says, thank you, Rachel, for your constant giving with your classes. I'm just getting back into Pilates, huffed and puffed a bit, but uh, so thank you. Thank you, Julie, lovely to have you here. So happy that you're back and that you're getting back into it. The spring is coming here in the UK, so we're really going to uh, do lots of wonderful sessions over the next couple of months leading into the summer. 
and I'm just delighted that you're back and don't worry about the huffing and puffing did you hear me I was huffing and puffing as well so <laughs> well done um, Donna says I find my knee flares up after any form of impact e.g. side moving squats yes yeah, so avoid the impact um, uh, Donna you don't want to be the impact is when you are kind of doing this right you want to I would really really uh, emphasize Donna Pilates for painful knees put it into you choose the video do them all there's at least three on there there's also some knee friendly workouts uh, do them all find the one that you feel really works well for you and your body and your needs and then make yourself do that at least twice a week to support you yeah because you need to get that support because otherwise if you keep on running and nothing changes you're eventually you're going to develop something else and we don't want that happening for you okay um so there we go leslie matan hello leslie says i'm rather late as local classes restarted but it looks as though i'm going to enjoy this one tomorrow thank you rachel and donation coming up on kofi thank you so much leslie uh, glad you had a good class today Martin de Kerpel, hello Martin in Belgium. Martin says felt very good. Uh, it did not feel as, uh, as 40 minutes, but was not, I see now. I love the sound. Yes, I cut it down to 30 today, Martin, because we were doing um, standing work. 30 is more than enough. Uh, I'm going to Ben, is it Ben Nadevika? I'm not quite sure if that's the wrong, <coughs> excuse me, right pronunciation. He says, I can't thank you enough. Your Pilates workouts boost my mood every single time. Thank you very much. You're very welcome and lovely to have you here. Um, okay, so uh, I think that's it for today. Lovely to see you all. So just a note, I will be back same time next week, 10 a.m. for another session I'm going to bring these sessions to 30 minutes I think for now because we're moving into the warmer weather but don't worry there will be plenty of content in that 30 minutes and also don't forget I'm here on Monday we're going to do a 25 minute Pilates workout with optional weights if you want to join me for that please do and then in the meantime I just want to wish you all a wonderful wonderful weekend Keep going with the playlist, those of you that are. You've only got a couple of days to go. And I'll see you very soon. Take care and bye for now. Bye-bye.